Hi, I'm Daniel from Drones Kaki Professional. Today in this video, we are going to take a look at the new DJI RC Plus Pro. The new smart controller that is designed to be integrated and work with the Matrix 30. So let's take a look at all the components. Firstly, you have of course the on and, the on and off switch button. And then on this side right here, this is your return to home button. Okay, and all here, all these uh, buttons right here from L1 to L3, R1 to R3, they all have their own specific shortcut key buttons which you can designate it on your own. Next, on, your, on my left here, this is the new uh, 5D button which you can also find it in your Matrix 300 remote control. It is also implemented here in the uh, Matrix 30 RC Plus Pro. And then of course, right here is your return button. And then the main controller of the remote control itself, the control sticks, it's the same principle and modes. And of course, when you buy it, it is by default mode two. And then if you come along on this side right here, as you can see, this is its antenna, right? It's a foldable antenna. And then on this side is all your input and output ports. You have a USB-C, a HDMI, a USB-A, and this is also where you can put your micro SD card. And on the back here, as you can see, there are three shortcut keys. There's C1, C2, and a little bit right here in the middle, right here, C3. So these shortcut keys are, the function of these shortcut keys are according to your own implementation and how you want to put it as your uh, as a shortcut button and then you have three different wheels on the left side here on my left on my left this is how you uh, turn your camera in vertical up or down on the right side is you turning your your camera horizontal left and right and here the third year as you can see this is for you to zoom in and zoom out and then of course you have taking a uh, uh, taking photo icon taking video icon and this is where you can switch your flight modes so let's take a look at the interface shall we let's switch it on the same as how you switch on every drone so this is the interface for the matrix 30 right now it's using the new dji pilot app which is called the DJI Pilot 2. So in this interface, this is the starter interface as you can see it will show on the top left here the maximum altitude and over here this is for the DJI Flight Hub 2 which is uh, another for another video but we'll focus first on the interface for the RC Plus Pro. Right here is where you can actually set your flight route and on the downside on the left side here which is where you can look at your albums but of course what we're going to see is the in interface of the matrix 30t so all you need to do is just press the enter camera view so firstly you will have all this uh, pre-flight check checklist so if we close this up so this is the interface of the new uh, dji pilot 2 app with the matrix 30 30t so as you can see, uh, on the top left here, this is your uh, state status of the of the drone. As you can see, I'm actually I have actually un unfold the the arms of the drone, and on the center here, this is actually where you can see the flight mode of the drone. Right now, it's at normal mode, and then going from the left to the right is what is where you can see if it's connected to its RC, does it have GPS, obviously it's not because it's indoors and then you will have all the the aircraft batteries, the percentage of the battery, your setting button and right now what we see here, this is called the cockpit view or the first person view it is basically a camera that is attached on the body of the drone so it, it cannot do anything other than just uh, it's just a camera for us to view so let's uh, press the R3 button right here on the, on the bottom right. So this will take us to the 
camera that is attached on the Matrix 30T, which is what you are seeing right now on your screen. So as you can see, it is a much more a bit different. The layout is much a bit different than the Matrix 300, but it's relatively the same features and functions. So over on the we see here on the on the left side here, this is the laser range finder. And then you will also have uh, your take, taking photo or taking a video, your album, your camera settings, and your camera per, per, parameters. And of course, on if you click on the left side here, which is the which is the the left the L three button. If you click here, it will appear the satellite. And you can do all sorts of things compared to the metric city where you can actually measure your the area if you are if you have GPS of course, and you can also measure uh, the distance between one point to another point using these two buttons. Next is you can also see you, all your flight telemetry such as the wind speed, the speed of the drone, the vertical speed the altitude, it can also show you the sensors of the drone and the horizontal situational indicator of the drone. So uh, if you see here at the layout of the remote control, it's wide, it's wider than the usual remote control for any of the, any of the previous smart controller drones. So it is designed to, to be as ergonomically controlled as possible, as you can see, uh, we have all these different but buttons right here on the on on the front on the top okay so it is designed for you to less touch on the screen as possible so all you need to do is just you you need to be familiar with your control such as on the left you need to know that this is a up and down up and down scroll on on your camera and on the right side is of course your turning left and turning right and then if you press here right here the R1 it is for you to zoom using your zoom camera and then and on the and then on the the second R right button is for you to zoom out and then on the left side here this is where you can switch between your uh, thermal camera and your zoom camera So uh, I believe that's it for the for I believe that so that is all of the interface of the new D DJI Metri 30 RC Plus Pro. So for for more information and better understanding on what the drone can do, do follow us in our flight demo video. Thank you. See you in the next one.